Administration of life-saving medications in the pre-hospital setting may be one of the most important things an EMT will do for their patient. It requires the ability to recognize life-threatening conditions, such as hypoglycemia or an asthma attack, knowledge of which medications are used to treat these conditions, and how those medications are administered. Some medications can be administered by the EMT, such as aspirin for chest pain and oral glucose for hypoglycemia, while other medications, such as nitroglycerin for chest pain, bronchodilators for difficulty breathing, and epinephrine for allergic reactions, must already be prescribed to the patient, and the EMT will only be assisting the patient with his or her own medications. A metered dose inhaler, or MDI, administers a prescribed dose of medication, usually to a patient with a history of chronic pulmonary disease, such as asthma or COPD, every time the inhaler is activated. The most common medications administered by this route are bronchodilators, which are drugs that dilate or relax the smaller air passages, making it easier to breathe. Because patients are becoming hypoxic during an acute respiratory emergency, they often will be agitated and unable to follow directions well. Therefore, you may be requested to coach or assist the patient in administration of their metered dose inhaler. Most bronchodilators begin to work immediately and their effect can last for hours. The device through which these drugs are administered consists of a metal canister and a plastic container with an attached mouthpiece. The metal canister holds the medication and fits inside the plastic container. When depressed, the device delivers a metered, or an exactly measured dose, of medication. The patient must coordinate their inhalation with activation of the device so that the drug will deposit itself into the bronchioles. Because the coordination can be difficult at times, some metered dose inhalers come with a chamber, or spacer, that attaches itself to the plastic container. The chamber holds the medication until the patient inhales it. Once you have determined that the patient is in respiratory distress, as evidenced by shortness of breath, tachypnea, tachycardia, cyanosis, moist skins, accessory muscle use, presence of wheezing or silent lung sounds, and or is tripoding and has their prescribed MDI with them, follow these steps. Take BSI precautions. Explain the procedure to the patient and get his or her consent for an assist if needed. Keep in mind the five rights involved in administration of any medication. Ensure that you have the right patient, which is one in respiratory distress, the right drug, which is a bronchodilator, the right dose, which will be metered, the right route of administration, which will be inhaled, and right time, which is now, while the patient still has their own respiratory drive and can follow directions. Shake the canister vigorously for a few seconds. If the patient is wearing an oxygen mask, remove the mask. Instruct the patient to hold the inhaler upright in his or her mouth with the thumb on the bottom of the canister and the index finger on top. If the patient cannot do so, then you should hold the inhaler. Tell the patient to take a deep breath and to exhale fully. Have the patient quickly place his or her lips around the mouthpiece, making a tight seal. Direct the patient to take a deep breath slowly over a five second period. Simultaneously, either you or the patient should depress the canister. Make sure the patient has started inhalation before the canister is depressed. Remove the inhaler and request that the patient hold his or her breath for 10 seconds or as long as possible. Coach the patient to exhale slowly with pursed lips. Replace the oxygen mask. The medications in MDIs usually cause an increase in heart rate as well as a feeling of nervousness or shakiness. You may also hear more wheezing now that air is able to move through the bronchioles. Reassure your patient, but also be sure to document your findings.